Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, I am going to show you the confirmatory test for basic radicals. Here we are first going to test the zero group and in this group ammonia is the only basic radical. Here I have taken the original solution and to that I have added NaOH solution and I kept this in the heating mantle for heating. To this test tube mouth I bring the glass rod which is dipped in concentrated HCl and here you can see the white fumes of ammonium chloride. Second confirmatory test for ammonia is first I have taken the original solution and to that I have added NaOH solution and then Nessler reagent. This Nessler reagent is K2HgI4. This Nessler reagent on reaction with ammonia which is evolved it turns brown and the complex is NH2, HgO, HgI. This is very important from the viva point of view. Now test for first group and the group reagent for this is dilute HCl and we get white PPT. So in this group we are having lead, silver and mercury. So how, how we are going to identify these? If the white PPT are soluble in hot water and they are insoluble in cold water then that confirms the lead and if these are soluble in ammonia then that confirms that silver is present. Now test for lead ions. So I have divided it into three parts. First original solution and concentrated H2SO4. We get white PPT. Here you can see. And these PPT are of lead sulfate. To the second part we are adding potassium iodide. So this is second part of the original solution plus Ki solution, potassium iodide solution, we get lead iodide, yellow PPT. In the third part, we are adding chromate, potassium chromate. So, lead nitrate plus potassium chromate, here we are getting again yellow PPT, but these are of little bit different in appearance than the lead iodide. Here, just for comparison, you can see. The second group test in which we are having two groups, first and second, here you can see or you can identify it by its color, it is copper sulphate, but here to this original solution we are adding sodium sulphide and it gives black PPT here. So here you can see the black PPT and this suggests that in this copper, second group copper is present. Now we are going for confirmatory test of copper. So first I will prepare the original solution of this copper. And then divide it into again three parts. To the first part we are adding ammonia solution which form tetramine copper sulphate complex which is of blue in color. Here you can see the blue dark blue color of tetramine copper sulfate. To the second part we are adding potassium iodide and we get white PPT of cuprous iodide and brown color of iodine. Uh, I'll keep it and when it's settled down, you can see white PPT and brown color solution. Here in the third part, we are adding K4-APCN6 to this and it gives chocolate brown color. Here you can see. Now for comparison, here you can see all three. Now test for aluminium. It is of third group and for this third group we are having 
ammonium hydroxide in the presence of ammonium chloride as a group reagent. So, to this original solution, I am adding ammonium chloride. And to this, I am adding ammonium hydroxide in the presence of ammonium chloride. If we get the white PPT, it confirms that third group is present. Now, we are going for the conformity test of the third group, basic radicals. So, first, these PPT we are going to dissolve in dilute HCl. Because these are the PPT of aluminium hydroxide and when we are adding HCl to this, it again forms aluminium chloride. It is soluble in HCl. And now we are going to divide it into two parts. To the first part, I am adding ammonium hydroxide and we will again get aluminium hydroxide white PPT. To the second part, I am adding blue litmus solution. And this is of blue color but here you see its color is light pink. This is because of the acidic nature of the solution as we have already added to this HCl. Now to this we are adding ammonium hydroxide which forms again aluminium hydroxide and this aluminium hydroxide absorbs this blue litmus color. Here you can see. Now test for iron. In this original solution I have divided into three parts to the first part. I am going to add ammonia hydroxide solution which gives iron hydroxide red PPT. Here you can see and these iron hydroxide on adding dilute HCl again forms iron chloride which gives the same solution color to which we have started. You can see the color of this solution of iron chloride which is present in the test tube stand. So same colors we observe. To the second part I have added potassium ferrocyanide and it gives Persian blue color. Here you can see. And to the third part I have added ammonium thiocyanate which gives blood red color blood red color of iron thiocyanate here you can see the blood red color of iron thiocyanate now test for chromium ion which is again of third group so to this we are adding first hydrogen peroxide this is chromium 3 plus solution and it changes its color and to this we are going to add sodium hydroxide NaOH solution and it changes its color. You can see this confirms the chromium ion. Now test for nickel. 2 plus ions. So we are going to take the nickel sulfate salt in the test tube and we are going to prepare its original solution by adding distilled water and I am adding to this sodium hydroxide solution which gives green color PPT. And to this I am going to add ammonium hydroxide solution 
so this nickel hydroxide on reaction with ammonia it gives blue color on axis of ammonia solution it gives dark blue color which suggests the formation of nickel tetramine complex now we are going to test for cobalt ion and you can see the cobalt chloride how it looks like we are preparing the original solution in distilled water and to this we are going to add diethyl ether first which makes a immiscible layer on this water layer here you can see a separate layer of diethyl ether over this to this i am going to add ammonium thiocyanate and at the bottom you can see here the purple color of cobalt thiocyanate now i am shaking it it gives the purple color and in the ether layer we are having its reflection so it suggests its conformation now conformity test for zinc 2 plus ions so first we are preparing the original solution with distilled water and to this i have divided into two parts to the first part i am going to add NaOH or a sodium hydroxide solution which forms zinc hydroxide white ppt and on further adding sodium hydroxide to this zinc hydroxide it forms na2zno2 which is soluble and to the second part we are going to add potassium ferrocyanide and here you can see the white ppt of zinc ferrocyanide test for fifth group in which we are having barium calcium and strontium so here we are going to test for barium to the original solution i am going to add potassium chromate solution which gives yellow ppt of barium chromate here you can see and to the calcium chloride solution we are going to add oxalic acid which gives calcium oxalate white ppt here for comparison you can see calcium oxalate and barium chromate now test for magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate original solution ammonium hydrogen phosphate in the presence of ammonium hydroxide and we get the white ppt of magnesium phosphate so guys what chemicals which i have in my laboratory i worked with that yeah, apart from these confirmatory tests there are several other tests so i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching